I got to ask, because I was flipping around YouTube. Sure. And then, boom, I see that you're live. Yeah. Just goofing around testing, says the title of the, of yeah. the video. Where is um your partner in crime there? I don't. I don't know. I did text him. Um, he wanted to go live yesterday. I was not. I had other stuff going on. Um, so is this uh, spur of the moment for you guys? You guys like, hey, man, not a whole uh, lot going on this afternoon. Let's rock and roll at 2 p.m. Well, my my goal was to do the same time every week. Um, and it has not happened that way. <laughs> and then the only bad thing about that is it sometimes becomes a chore if you do it like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, but like I think that's that would be cool to do. Um, and also I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to approach this. Like I do I do a daily podcast, um, you know, minute, two minutes. Um, I'd like to add something long form. I'm I think this might this is one way to go about it. Um so I'm trying to figure out what's the right way to go. Mm. Yeah. So it's sort of a, a lot of experimental goofing around. Test a bunch of options and then pluck out yeah. the one that that speaks to you. Yeah. What do you think? Best way to go about it? Yeah. I like the long marathon chats you guys have. They're fun. They definitely are fun because you guys can go off on tangents and then circle back without a doubt. And it, and it tends to happen that way too. And then I like the whole breaking up into smaller snippets later yes. on. Yes. It's so like someone's like scrolling through shorts and yes. then boom. Absolutely. Okay. James yeah. And that's and savvy. Is it, do I, do I pronounce it savvy? Is that how yeah, I pronounce his name? Okay. Yeah. Um, which is nice because you get a little you get a little taste, right? Sell yeah, the sizzle, sure. not the steak. And we get a good sizzle in those shorts. And it's helped the channel, my channel grow a lot. Like, That's what they say. From, yeah, it went from about 300 to now 1,400. Wow. And you, and, and you attribute that to the shorts? Yes. Without Oof. a doubt. There were some that got real spicy and got you know, 10, 20,000 views. And then that, uh, and you, you, end up, Oh, that one added 50, that one added a hundred. Uh, oh, so you can tell like if mm -hmm. somebody clicks on a short or two and then boom, they subscribe from there. Like you yeah, can read the analytics and it'll tell you that. Exactly. This is nuts. So we went to school for all this, but none of this was, taught yet because it didn't exist <laughs> exactly that, that's the fun part about it it is sort of like it is in that vein but so different and new i'm curious and, if colleges have caught up with the whole youtube podcast thing i would think so but it's hard to keep up with because it changes so much yeah my guess is they're probably a few years behind I would, I would think so. I mean, I would think that they're still going hard on like radio. Like, did you guys, cause you're a Niagara university guy, right? Yep. Like you guys had a school paper radio station, yeah. I presume. Yep. Like TV station. Yeah. Same at Brockport TV station. Wasn't a big thing. It was like, you would do, it was like closed circuit and, and throughout Rochester, I think there was like some stuff you could see. Um, but a lot of the content was from classes. So we would do like, you know, fake newscasts, real newscasts based on content around campus. Sure. But I think a lot of it was closed. Like you couldn't see it if you were in, you know, Hilton or Greece, but if you were like near campus, I could be wrong on that. I mean, we're talking 20 years, but, but anyway, yeah, I, I'd be curious to see like how deep into the whole YouTube and podcast game, these communication departments have have gotten unless it's just like kind of the broad the three pillars right like print audio visual i would think that would be the smarter way to go because it, because as you were describing it was so specific it was like writing a radio script it was writing a 
uh, TV script. It was it was uh, you know uh, writing a print column, right? And 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 these are all important skills, but like the kid who is going through at at a communications program at at Niagara right now is probably not their career is probably not going to be straight print or straight TV or straight um, radio. 